Welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned how to detect the custom gestures. So we will extend that topic. And in this video, we will learn how to make pinch and zoom gestures in Android application. So basically while using some application, you want to zoom some view, you use the zoom action. And in some application, you want to zoom out that view. You make the pinch gesture for this. Let's do it. So guys, now let's create a new project for this pinch and zoom gesture detection. Select the empty activity and click next. And in the name of the project, we will write pinch zoom gesture. So we are okay with the package name, with the location and with the language Java, click finish. So let's wait a while until Android Studio is making our project ready for development. So guys, our project is ready. So we will use the scale gesture class to detect the pinch zoom gesture. For this, we have to add some dependencies in our project. For this, let's add each dependency one by one. For this, import and try dot view dot motion event so guys for receiving the simple on scale gesture listener we have to make another class for it where we will implement our interface for receiving the gestured listeners. For this, let's make a class. It will be public class pinch zoom listener class, which will extend the simple on scale gestured listener. So we will have to add some methods of this simple on scale gesture listener plus control O and from here we will on scale on scale begin and on scale end click OK. So return true value to send these events to our class. So guys, now let's come back to our main class and here we will make some objects for our text view and scale gesture and here in the same way we will have the scale gesture detector create object for it. Let's access our text view. So at the same time, let's make the ID in our text view. To access it. So from here, make the ID of this text view. Now let's come back and give its ID now navigate our scale gesture listener to our class set the context and in the same way So guys, our object scale detector is navigated to our pinch zoom listener class. Let's write some code here. So we will receive some gesture factor here and based upon that factor, we will decide either it is pinch or it is zoom gesture. For this, now let's
So if the adjustor factor is greater than one, then the gesture will be zoom out. So we will set the text else it will be zoom in gesture. So guys, all things are set except one thing. Here we have to set the touch event to this scale gesture detector object. For this, press Ctrl O and search here on touch. On touch event. Double click on it to include in this project. And from here, set its return type as true. And set the scale gesture object. And set the on touch event to this event. So guys, this step is mandatory. Without this step, you will not be able to detect the pinch and zoom gesture. This is all set. Now let's select our device and compile the code of project into our mobile phone application. So let's wait a while until Android application build our project. So guys, as you can see here, our application is launched in our real Android phone. So let's check it. By default, our application is showing a label hello world. So when I'm going to pinch it, you can see here it is saying zoom in gesture detected and when I'm going to zoom it, it is saying that zoom out gesture is detected. So in the same way we can easily test our application. So guys, hope you have enjoyed the pinch and zoom gestures video. So this is enough for this session. See you in next video.